We're cover-ups. Just when we thought we'd hear what went wrong in the Brittany Higgins, Bruce Liam and saga, the ACT government has decreed that the findings of the Sofronoff inquiry will be kept secret for at least another month. This ACT government is out of control. The Chief Minister Barr says he may provide an interim response and that a final response may take several months. You get the drift? The public might forget. There's no doubt that the Labor Greens government and the ACT population, I might add, half a million, were hoping for political scalps, all Liberals, of course. But now it appears the ACT DPP drum gold is the bloke fighting for his professional life. The ACT government received the report at 5.22 p.m. last Friday. There is no evidence that Sofronoff asked that the release of the report should be confidential. Many lives have been damaged by the Liam and Higgins case. The criminal justice system in the ACT, like most of the ACT government, I might add, is in disarray. But again, the federal opposition, Peter Dutton, you've got to be hammering this issue. After all, two of your own, Linda Reynolds and Michaelia Cash, have been lied about. And don't tell me the opposition have given up on demanding to know how Higgins received $3 million in a mediation that lasted less than a day and excluded Linda Reynolds. Who decided? And why? I don't know who is deciding opposition tactics in Canberra, but the focus must remain on Higgins and this inquiry. There's talk today that Bruce Learman will lodge a multi-million dollar claim for compensation against the ACT officers of, Office of DPP. Learman is right in calling for the release of the Sofronoff report immediately. Or is there going to be another cover-up? As Bruce Learman says of the report, if it finds the director acted with malice or against his duties as the DPP, I will be considering a multi-million dollar claim for damages and compensation from the office of the DPP and the ACT government. As Bruce Learman said at the weekend, I remember someone saying that sunlight is the best disinfectant. The drum gold protection racket continues, unquote. Well, while we're talking protection rackets, remember the Federal Attorney General Dreyfus has refused to answer any questions regarding the payout to Higgins, which was provided without consultation with former senior Liberal ministers, including Linda Reynolds. And yet they were at the centre of Higgins' claims. This is a test for the opposition. The inexplicable suppression by their mates in the ACT government of the Sofronoff report and the abject secrecy surrounding the multi-million dollar payment to Higgins, the opposition need to get their tactics right. They should be setting the agenda. They should be deciding what questions the government must answer. Start with the Sofronoff inquiry and Higgins. Now, I'm not talking political bias here. 